During my recent participation in the teaching and development program, I have had the opportunity to deeply consider how my teaching portfolio reflects Ubuntu pedagogy and how we are working towards Africanizing our pedagogy. The program has led me to ponder important concepts such as LTC, epistemic relations, knowledge and the significance of social relations in the context of humanity. One of the central questions that emerged during the program was whether my teaching portfolio embodies Ubuntu pedagogy. Ubuntu pedagogy, rooted in the African philosophy, emphasizes the interconnectedness, communal values and the idea that I am because we are. I, as I reviewed my teaching materials, I found instances where I fostered a sense of community and collaboration in the classroom. However, I recognize the need to further integrate these principles into my teaching philosophy and practices. The program promoted me to consider how we Africanize our pedagogy. This involves incorporating African perspectives, histories and cultures into our teaching methods. I realized that there, are, there is room for improvement in the aspect of my teaching. Moving forward, I aim to explore ways to infuse African content and narratives in my curriculum to provide a richer, more inclusive learning experience. The program introduced me to the concept of LTC, which focuses on the legitimacy and credibility of knowledge sources. This theory underscores the importance of acknowledging diverse voices and perspectives in the educational process. I now understand the significance of encouraging students to critically evaluate knowledge sources and question the legitimacy of information. Reflecting on the epistemic relations and knowledge, I have come to appreciate that learning is not just about acquiring facts, but also about understanding the interconnectedness of knowledge and the context in which it exists. This insight has encouraged me to foster a more holistic approach to teaching where students can explore the underlying connections between topics and develop a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Lastly, the program emphasized the role of social relations in education, recognizing that humanity is humanity of our students and promoting a supportive inclusive classroom environment is essential for effective teaching and learning i plan to prioritize building positive social relations with my students and colleagues to create a more conducive learning atmosphere in conclusion, my participation in the teaching pr development program has been a transformative experience promoting me to reflect on the alignment of my teaching portfolio with Ubuntu pedagogy and the need to Africanize our pedagogy. I'm excited to apply the insights gained to enhance my teaching and create a more inclusive and enriching environmental experience for my students. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the organizers and facilitators of the teaching development program for providing an enriching and thought-provoking experience. Your dedication to fostering professional growth and promoting innovative pedagogical approaches has been truly inspiring. I am immensely thankful to my fellow participants whose diverse perspective and passionate discussions contributed significantly to my own learning journey. The collaborative atmosphere created during the program was invaluable and I appreciate the exchange of ideas and insights that occurred during our sessions. I would like to also extend my appreciation to my colleagues and mentors who have supported and encouraged my professional development over the past 12 months. Your guidance and mentorship have played a pivotal role in shaping my teaching philosophy and practices. Lastly but not least, I want to express my gratitude to my students who are ultimate beneficiaries of my continuous learning and improvement as a lecturer. Your curiosity, engagement and feedback have been instrumental in my growth as a lecturer. Thank you all for the unwavering support, encouragement and shared commitment to advancing education. It is through the, these collective efforts that we can 
must strive for more inclusive, engaging and meaningful learning experience for all.